Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Kostas and today I'm gonna to be editing photos that you guys sent me. So let's get into it. So this is an idea I've had for a while. I've seen other YouTubers do it. It's not an original idea, but I wanted to take a stab at it myself just because I love editing photos. I put on Instagram that I was doing this and had you guys send me photos. I picked five of my favorites. Um, I got a lot of submissions and I'm sorry if I didn't edit your photo, but I didn't want this video to be too, too long. So I picked five that I really, really liked. And yeah, that's that. Let's get into editing. So this first photo was sent in by Valentina Tripoli. I believe it's of the Venice canals. And what I loved about this photo was the symmetry in it. And I love that she captured the bird flying in the middle of the photo. So for starters, I felt like the photo was a little bit dark. So I went ahead and brought the exposure up. I then dropped the contrast, dropped the highlights, brought the shadows up quite a bit and the whites up quite a bit and drop the blacks just a little bit. I boosted the texture of the photo to bring out details in the photo and then I moved down to the tone curve. To start off, I just brought this bottom point up a little bit. It helps with giving it that faded vintagey look. And then I went into specifically the red, green and blue tone curves and gave it an S curve. As you can see, the photo starting to come together. So now we're gonna make our way down to the HSL sliders. To start out, I moved the red, orange and yellow sliders to the left to give it more of that orangey feel. I then moved the aqua and the blue sliders also to the left to give the blue a little bit more of a teal look. I dropped down the saturation of the red just a little bit, brought up the orange, and then got rid of a lot of yellow and green. There's not too much green in this photo, but yellows I typically like to get rid of in my photos. I then dropped the saturation of the blue just a little bit to add to that desaturated look that I'm going for. Brought up the blue luminance to brighten up the blues and drop the orange just a tad. Moving on to the split toning slider, I wanted to warm up the photo a little bit, so I brought the hue of the highlights to about 45, which is an orangey color and brought the saturation up to 20. I didn't really touch the shadows and I kept it moving. I then moved the highlight priority slider to the left because it gives it that vignetting look. Not a lot, just a little bit, but I think it adds to the photo. Coming down to the calibration section, I moved the hue of the blue over to negative 10, dropped the saturation down to negative 10 and evened out the oranges by bringing it up to five. I felt like the bottom of the photo was still a little bit too dark, so I created a gradient filter and brought up the exposure to even out the photo and finished off the photo by cropping it in just a little bit. This is the before and this is the after and that's my edit. I hope you like it. So this next photo was sent in by a friend of mine. His name's Efron, super talented photographer and I really like this photo that he took and wanted to edit it because it's a backlit portrait which can be a little bit difficult to edit but if done right can turn out really great. So to start out I dropped the contrast, dropped the highlights, brought up the shadows quite a bit, brought up the whites and dropped the blacks. I then brought the texture up and the clarity up and then I dropped the saturation of the entire photo by negative 10. Moving down to the tone curve, I brought the bottom point up just a little bit to give it that faded look again and created an S curve with the individual red, green and blue tone curve panels. So as you can see from just a few minor adjustments and creating S curves, you can make the photo look really good just from that. But of course we didn't stop there, so let's move right along to the HSL sliders. I moved the red slider to the right and the orange slider to the left to kind of fix the skin tones. And then I brought the yellow and the green sliders over to the left quite a bit to kind of give it a more stylized look. I once again brought the aqua and the blue sliders over to the left just to give it a little bit of that teal blue look. I then dropped the saturation a tad from the reds, brought up the oranges and then dropped the yellows, dropped the greens a little bit and dropped the blues just a little bit as well. I felt like the yellow and the greens were a little bit too bright, so I dropped their luminance down and then brought up the blues and the oranges a hair. So I wanted to warm up the highlights in this photo as well, so I brought the hue of the highlights to a 40 and brought the saturation up to a 12. I sharpened the photo just a little bit and moved the highlight priority slider to the left once again to give a little bit more of that vignette look. Coming down to the calibration section, I moved the blue and the green to the left and the red to the right, and then I brought the shadows to the left a little bit towards the green. Looking at the photo again, I thought it was a little bit too bright, so I brought the exposure down to negative 0.15, and I wanted some more detail back in the background so I created a gradient filter again and dropped the exposure and the highlights and then I made sure to brush out her because I didn't want her to be affected by that gradient filter. I then created a mask around her because she is the main subject of this photo and brought up the exposure and the shadows to bring some more life to her. Last but not least I straightened the photo out and that's my edit. Here's the before and here's the after. I hope you like the edit. 
let's get to the next one. So this next photo was sent in by Austin Ashley and I really like this photo. What drew me to this photo was that it was taken from the inside of a cave. The cave acts as if it's a picture frame for what's going on outside, which is why I really like this photo. So let's get to editing. So to start off, I thought this photo was a little bit too bright. So I dropped the exposure down, but I brought up the contrast. I then dropped the highlights, brought up the shadows, brought up the whites and dropped the blacks. I then added some texture because it is a nature photo and I do like nature photos to have a little bit more texture and detail. Lastly, I dropped the saturation down just a little bit and made my way down to the tone curve. Same thing here as the other photos, I brought up the bottom point just a little bit and made an S curve with the red, green and blue tone curves. To start off, I moved the hue of the orange and the yellow to the left because I wanted the caves color to have that golden orange look. I then brought the green slider over to the right because I wanted that green to pop. Brought the blue slider over to the left just a little bit, drop the saturation of the red, drop the saturation of the orange, completely drop the saturation of the yellow, and brought up the saturation of the green. I dropped the luminance of the green to make it punch and to have them darker. I then brought up the luminance of the yellow and brought up the luminance of the blue as well. Coming down to split toning, I once again added some orange into the highlights to warm up the photo. I brought that highlight priority to the left to give it a little bit more of that vignette look and then made my way down to calibration. Messed with the blue and red calibration just a little bit, but made sure to bring that green over to the right to make sure those greens are looking nice. Last but not least, I cropped this to a four by five because I wanted an even amount of cave on top and bottom and I wanted like the field to be exactly in the middle of the photo. So yeah, this is the before and this is the after. I hope you like the edit. So this next photo was sent in by a queen boom. If I butchered your name, I'm really sorry, but this photo is of a horse and I really, really liked it because it was like mid gallop and it was directly in the middle of the photo. So let's get to editing. I felt like the exposure was fine on this photo. So I brought up the contrast, dropped the highlights, brought up the shadows, brought up the whites, dropped the blacks. You guys know the deal. Dropped the clarity just a little bit because I wanted this to look a little bit more like a painting. So I didn't want as much texture in the photo. And then I brought up the vibrance to a 12 just to make the colors pop. Coming down to the tone curve, I did the same thing with this photo as I did with all the other ones. A simple S curve with the red, blue, and green tone curve. Coming down to the HSL slider, I boosted the red to 40 because I wanted the hair to have a nice brown color. I then dropped the orange and the yellow sliders to the left. I moved the green slider to the right because I wanted that green in the background to look very nice. And then I moved the blue to the left just a little bit. Dropped the saturation of the red just a little bit, brought up the saturation of the orange, and then dropped the saturation of the yellow and the green quite a bit. And as you can see from that, it gives it a nice stylized look. Dropped the blue saturation just a little bit, even though I don't really think I needed to. Brought up the luminance of the orange, dropped the luminance of the yellow and the green down, and brought up the luminance of the blue. Split toning, same thing, warmed up the highlights just a little bit with some orange. Gave it that vignetting look with the highlight priority slider to the left, and then made my way down to the calibration. Blue slider to the left, green slider to the right, red slider to the right, you guys know the deal by now. And that's it, I didn't even feel like I needed to crop the photo. Here's the before. And here's the after, and that's my edit. I hope you like it. All right, this last photo was taken by Brian Clavesi of his friend Jay on top of a train. This photo is so dope. It's out in the middle of the desert, something that I would totally do and try to get a photo of for like Instagram or something. And yeah, this is an epic photo. Let's get to editing. So for starters, I evened out the white balance a little bit because it was looking a little bit off to me. And then I dropped the exposure down just a hair, brought up the contrast, dropped the shadows quite a bit, brought up the shadows, brought up the whites, and dropped the blacks. Brought up the texture and brought up the vibrance just a little bit and went down to the tone curve. And again, did the same thing with the tone curve that I did with every other photo. Brought the hue of the red to the right and the orange to the left to even at those skin tones. And then I brought the yellow slider to the left as well. Brought the blue hue over to the left a little bit to give it that hue look and then went down to saturation. I tweaked the red and orange just a little bit and got rid of a lot of yellow and just a little bit of blue. I then dropped the luminance of yellow and blue just a little bit. I thought the photo was looking just a hair purple, so I went up to the tint and moved it from 13 to 10. I did split toning on this photo as well, brought some orange into the highlights, but this time I actually brought some blues into the shadows as well. Highlight priority slider to the left just a little bit, in the calibration blue slider to the left, and red primary to the right. Last but not least, I just had to make sure the horizon was straight. I actually then changed the tint of the photo to negative 15 towards the green just because I still thought it looked a little bit purple, but this is the before. And this is the after, and that's my edit. I hope you liked it. All right, guys, and that does it. That was me editing your photos. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it and something that I definitely wanna do again. 
So if you like the way I edited the photos in this video or even the ones that I post on my Instagram, you're in luck because I created presets so now you can get the same exact look and the same exact edits that I get on your photos. If you guys wanna download the presets, the link will be in the description bar below. And if you're lucky enough to be watching this video on the very first day that I put it out, they're going to be half off. If you do end up downloading the presets, tweet me them or DM them to me on Instagram. I would love to see how your photos look with them on. And with that being said, that does it for another video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.